just like oil that is dead animals and plants, but when used in a specific way, it will make machine run and be alive, kind of. Now we have data that also is dead, but when used in a specific way, it will make machines run and be alive, kind of. Data oil is being fed to the machines and it will make the machines more complex and more alive. Kind of. The AI tools are used to be seen as a source of endless creativity. However, because it's a computer software, we should be able to check how creative it actually is. Right, does that make sense? The Lion 5P is the core of many of the biggest image generators. It's a collection of almost 6 billion images that are being used by many of those generators. Most likely some of your images also are part of this collection. First, let's look at this couple in the kitchen making food generated by Midjourney. Where do you think Midjourney got the idea to create this kind of an image? I did wrote the prompt, but I dare to say that the idea for this image was not coming from me. Let's just paste that same prompt to the search engine to see what will come up from the Lion 5P dataset. Firstly, let's look at the colors of these images. I think the colors are pretty much the same in the shooter stock images and in the generated image. I didn't specify the colors in the prompt, so I didn't make AI to select them. Instead, the AI selected the colors from these photos. Then let's look at the faces of the people and how they are in the photos and how they are in the generated image. I know the generated image is pretty bad compared to these original images, but anyways, the faces are coming from these and thousands of other photos with couples. These images have been converted to something we call neural networks with the process called training. We should not mix this with the neural networks also that are for example in the human brain though, as AI is a software, not a person. Let's have an example of a very creative idea an astronaut in a garden. Look at this, that has to be completely new and original idea that just came into my mind and then I just prompted it and the AI created that new kind of an art image. Right? Wrong. It's just again another bad version of something someone human artist already did maybe long ago and they uploaded it online and the authors of Layer 5B took the links to these images into their database and the images were trained to the AI model. It is just mixing things that it is programmed to be mixing with complex ways the software is developed. A human person could create for example an image based to this kind of a thought process. When I was a kid and it was a Christmas time, I made a snowman in our yard. And they would create, for example, with painting, an image of the snowman and themselves creating the snowman as a kid, based on their memories and feelings they had when they were kids. So, if you would prompt that same idea to the image generator, it most likely also would produce an image of someone doing a snowman as a kid. The image, though, would not be based on the feelings of the AI model, because computer programs are not capable of having feelings. The computer programs also are not having memories. So, your images are still inside of the AI model, somehow. After the model has been trained, the images have become a functional part of how the model works. So, they are not in an image format, of course, but they all together have become the so-called neural network that is producing the end products. 
We call AI models a black box technology because we don't exactly know what is happening inside of the model when something is asked to be produced. But we can see what is being fed into the model as a training data and what is coming out of it and we can compare those two together. So what's up with all of those generated Shutterstock images from the AI models? Of course they are there because a big portion of the Leon 5B actually is taken from Shutterstock. Now people are often saying something like finally we can get rid of the stock photography and start getting something more original instead. And then they literally are using an AI model that is trained to produce stock images. They also didn't ask to be part of these AI models, but now they are, as far I know, permanently. Their photos are from the internet taken to the AI to be trained with. As far as I know, the AI creators cannot remove them, except maybe by deleting the whole AI model and starting over without these photos. I always had that little weird feeling when I was using the AI image generators, like I was using something I was not actually having a permission for. I mean, I had a permission to use the AI model because I was paying for the AI company, but the source of all that creativity, it's not the AI. It's the artists and it's all of these random people and no one was asking them if they wanted to be part of this. Thing. Let's imagine that you are a voice actor and then some big studio decided that they will clone your voice and start producing stuff with your voice. Songs and movies, radio talk shows and everything. They didn't ask you if they would be allowed to clone your voice. They just took it. They also didn't take what you said. They only took how you said it. I think there is nothing fair in that kind of an idea. It's the same thing with the art AI models. They don't clone your images directly, they clone how you created your images. They kind of tried to clone your hands. So, these were some of the reasons why I don't wanna use AI image generators. I always want to do the right thing. Anyways, thank you very much for watching this video and God bless.